Hey guys, we're already in the second month of 2025. Let's be real, you've probably already given up your New Year's resolution. Bye bye working out, your healthy food is in the trash and your self-improvement intentions out the door. But we're here to help you get better step by step. And where better to start than learning some new effects in After Effects. Let's go. First up, we're tackling something you've probably seen in a music video before. The dancing building effect. And surprise, it's actually not that hard to do. And here are a couple of ways to make it happen. The easiest method, let's say you've got a big tower in your scene and you want it to wobble from side to side. Step 1. Get an empty shot of your footage. You can use Photoshop to remove the tower. Place that clean plate underneath everything. Now take your original shot and mask out the building. Next, we're pre-composing the top duplicate. And on this pre-comp, we've add the CC bend it effect. Adjust the start and end point so the bend only affects the tower. And boom, now you can wiggle it back and forth. Super easy. But maybe you don't want the entire building to move. Maybe you want the windows inside the building to bounce instead. This works best with a front view shot, not something with crazy perspective. The main trick here is masking out the parts you want to move. So you mask out the building structure, duplicate the layer and invert the mask on the top duplicate to leave a hole where the windows were. Then pre-comp the bottom layer. This is where the animated windows will go. Inside this pre-comp we resize the comp to match our building selection. Back in our main comp we are adding the CC reptile effect to our masks windows. Now animate the position property and suddenly your building has bouncing dancing windows. Easy as that. Move Moving on to effect number two, we're creating an advanced audio visualizer. Believe it or not, but I used to make beats back in the day and this is actually the first thing I've ever learned how to make in After Effects. First, we need a song and the best place to find one is Audio, the sponsor of today's video. Audio is a platform for creators with extremely high quality music and sound effects. You can browse music and sound effects the traditional way or you can use Hans AI, a tool kind of like ChatGPT where you can describe the song you need and boom, endless results based on your description. Now with the Audio Pro app on iOS and Android, you can simply log into your account and browse music and sound effects from there. Whenever I have a moment, I open up the app and start creating background music playlists for my videos. You can then download the music you need later on your computer. Absolutely beautiful. Now there's one thing I can't forget to mention. Whenever you find a song you like, just click the lightning bolt and audio will give you a huge list with similar songs. I honestly can't imagine going back to bad stock music. Definitely use the code AEBASICS for 70% off the audio pro plan. Check out the link down below. Okay, we've got our track. Let's drop it into a comp that already has a simple gradient background. First step, convert the audio into keyframes. Right click on the audio file, go to keyframe assistant and choose convert audio to keyframes. Now we've got a new layer called audio amplitude, which holds keyframes for every beat, separated into left and right channels or combined. These keyframes, they're gonna drive our effect. Let's start by adding a 3D headphones object to our comp. In the latest F after Effects update, you can now import 3D models directly into After Effects, which is super handy. I add a simple rotation animation by applying the expression time asterisk 20 to the Y rotation property. Next, I pre-compose the 3D layer and duplicate it. On the top duplicate, I apply find edges, tritone for custom colors and glow to give it a stylized look. Now for the fun part, making the headphones react to the music. On the bottom headphone layer, I apply CC ball action effect. Reduce the grid spacing and decrease the ball size. Then alt click on the displace property and use the pick whip tool to link it to the audio amplitude keyframes. And there you go, the effect is moving with the beat. But the values are too low, so I tweak the expression by adding asterisk minus 8 at the end, making the motion much more intense. Now I just apply the same find edges, tritone and glow effects from before. And we've got a pulsing reactive audio visualizer. Looks awesome. For the third and final effect, we're staying in the 3D world. This time with animated text motion graphics. First thing we need, a text layer. Type out whatever you want, then convert it into shapes by right clicking and selecting create shapes from text. Now in the shape layer properties, we need to group all letters together. Under the content tab, select all the letters, right click and choose group. Next, we are going to add a rectangle shape. Just select the shape layer and double click the rectangle tool to create a rectangle shape with the same size as the comp. 
adjust its position so it's centered. Now under the contents tab we go to the add button and select merge paths. Change the mode to subtract and suddenly the text is cut out from the rectangle. Nice. Now let's turn both layers 3D. Under the geometry options increase the extrusion depth to 150. This gives our text some nice depth. Time to animate. Under the text properties tab we go to the animate dropdown and enable per character 3D. This lets us move each letter individually. Then we go back to animate and choose the old transform properties. Now we can set the Y position to 100. But wait, we want some more variation. To make things more dynamic, we add a wiggly selector, which you can find next to the animator one property under the add drop down menu. We change the mode to min, lower the wiggle seconds, turn on log dimensions and add a random seed to shake things up. Now let's finish this off with two point lights on the side and a cool camera animation. And that were three effects. If you want to keep on leveling your motion graphics game, check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, thank you Odo for the support and see you next time.